Hey guys, I'm Daniel Norton out here in the Hudson Valley and today we're going to do some product photography. So I decided to uh, come outside and shoot some location product um, using some flash. So I have a little outdoor camping kit and I thought it'd be fun to come out here. It's like the middle of the day right now um, to kind of make it feel like the end of the day to show you like how flash could benefit you, um, you know, even when you're in natural light environments. So I've got behind me uh, this rock. You'll see it in a second that I have my camping kit set up on. Right here though, um, is going to be my kind of my main light in a sense. It's a, a Profoto A1 set with a CTO gel. So it's going to give me a warm light, give you that end of the day thing. And it's going to backlight my product because that's the direction my light's coming from. So let me get over here and I'll explain the rest. Okay, so like I said, I've got this cool rock here that I found um, and my little camp set is up on it. And the light is actually coming from the back already, right? It's already coming from the back. But what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to take a shot of just the natural light to show you guys what that looks like. I'm over here in Capture One. Um, we can see that You've got this bit of light coming from the back. I'm keeping it a little bit darker so that we don't blow out the highlights. Um, I'm actually gonna go a little faster, I think, on the shutter. We'll go 125, 6.3. And, uh, hmm. you know, I'm actually gonna go to 1160, which is as fast as I generally go with this camera. Right, we wanna get the, the ambient light down as low as possible, basically. Then I'm gonna add my flash. So like I said, this, this one back here um, is gonna kind of be my primary flash. You can also see I have a softbox here, but we'll deal with that in a second. So this is in TTL, take a shot. All right, we can see that now my product has light on it. It's lit, actually the rock's a bit brighter. Everything has this warmth to it that's kind of nice, right? And what we're gonna do now is we wanna show the front of the product. And of course, outside like this is only light coming from one direction that's more natural, but you know, sometimes you gotta cheat it a little bit. So I'm gonna use a softbox so we get kind of the minimum amount of highlight. Um, we will still get a highlight on the front of it, as I'll show you in a second. So let me just shoot the top box. Again, I'm just kind of showing you guys the general lighting setup here. Yeah, you know, even though it's lit, people expect things that are metallic to have a glow on it. So that alone looks like I just hit it with a flash, but when we combine the two, we can see that we get a much more natural looking shot. Now I am gonna tweak this a bit. So let's take a quick look. Um, this cup in the front's getting a bit too much light on it. Um, that's actually from the natural light, I think, uh, hitting the highlights of it. So I'm actually just move that. Um, it's not super necessary. Basically, I'm setting this thing up the way I feel like it. Nobody asked me to set it up this way, so I can put things wherever I want. Maybe I'll put this one back here. Again, to give it more of a backlight feel. Now, what I'm gonna do so you guys can see better is I'm gonna look through the camera. There we go. Uh, that's pretty good. Um, all right, that all looks decent. I'm giving myself a decent amount of space around this too, guys, so we can uh, use it for multiple different uh, projects, you know, depending on where you put it. Okay, that looks good. Again, that's the ambient light. Let's kill that now that we have our kind of our final composition. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to focus. So I'm going to focus on the handle, basically, of the product in front of us. Okay, that looks good. Yep, and we can actually see the name of the product and everything. And again, anybody that understands light will see that this is not 100% real because we have light coming from two directions, but I feel like uh, you can get away with that in product photography um, if you're subtle. So I'm actually gonna bring that A light, which is the softbox, down two stops. We'll try that to start with. Okay, that might be too much. Yeah, I wanna see it a little bit more than that. So let's go a stop and a half. That looks pretty good. I'm going to switch to manual, actually, guys, too, so that things lock in, because as the light's changing, it's going to... Yeah, there we go. You know, when you're using two lights that cross and you're using TTL, if you change one, sometimes the other one gets a little funky, too. So um, I'm going to add just a little bit more. I'm basically just working that A light up until it starts to look unnatural. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now we have detail here, so we can see the name of it. We have that little glow, but I think, again, it looks natural. We've got uh, most of the highlights coming from the back which again makes sense. It looks darker here, right? It has a darker kind of feel to it. Now, the final thing I'm gonna do, I don't know if this will show up that well, but this thing here, um, I have water in it. I'm gonna light it up. Okay, so now that I have that lit up, I'm basically just waiting for the water to start to boil. I'm hoping to get a little bit of steam coming up. It's gonna be tricky because, I mean, in order to get steam, you want a backlight, which we're doing, of course, so that's good. But the background is also kind of bright, and generally you want a darker background with that. So we'll take a few shots since we're already here, and we already have the main shot. Aha, okay. We're starting to get some steam blowing. Uh, 
Let's see. Not really seeing it. Well, as I suspected, because the background's kind of bright. And also because it's kind of windy. But you can see it a bit there. So we're getting it, you know? You can see that little bit of steam. It's not going crazy, um, but it's there. So adds that little bit of realism to it. And, uh, you know, you can make a cup, cup, cup of coffee. <laughs> Okay, so that was really fun, right? I was able to come out here, look at the light that was kind of already in the environment, and add to it in a way that doesn't make it feel super artificial, right? It just gives you a little bit more uh, of that kind of, the way that you see it with your eyes, right? Because in, in, in your eyes, you imagine things, and you see things a different way in your mind's eye, I should say, uh, than, the, than the camera does, right? The camera's very literal, right? So by adding these touches, we're able to take a literal thing, the camera, and turn it into something that creates the vibe or the feel that we really want. So be sure to subscribe to Adorama TV, guys, and ring the bell to get more videos like this. Follow me, Daniel Norton Photographer, and I'll see you next time on set.